Welcome back. To freeze or not to freeze, that is the question. Here with everything you need to know about freezing foods, please welcome back the one and only Monica Mangan. Hey! So food waste is a big deal here in America. It's a huge deal. We waste over 25%. I've heard as high as 40% of our food. Insane. It's insane. It's ridiculous. And there's ways we can avoid it. So okay. I'm going to give you lots of tips. So that's the premise amazing. here. That's, that's the, the premise. premise here. Okay, so yeah. I know everything there is to know about freezing my face. I know nothing about freezing food. <laughs> so just take me through we it step by step. Tips. Okay, right. great. We're going to start with freezing meat. So this is meat? Out. This is ground beef. So you guys take your wow. ground turkey and we're going to oh. put okay. it oh, into Oh, we're going to have some bag. fun with it. We get to do it. You're going to put it into a gallon size bag okay. and let's just do a comparison here if I just stuck this in my freezer here it's yeah, gonna take up annoying. so much room Cumbersome. it's also has air in there so it's gonna get a little freezer burn okay. this takes up basically no room Fair so while you guys meat. do that that's, that's really nice <laughs> I right, do throw like it to use in my teeth you're gonna press it cooking. flat <laughs> all right uh, I'm gonna pass on the invitation to come over for dinner <laughs> okay. all right press it flat press it flat press it flat okay. you want to get all the air out before oh, okay. you seal it don't seal okay. first and then once you have it flat you take the back of your knife Oh. And you're, this okay. is like the secret sauce to me. Okay. All right. You're going to score it so that oh. way you don't have to defrost a pound at a time. You could defrost wait, Did you quarter. run this over like with a oh, car? Oh, I did. <laughs> or did you do this with I'm your just hands? really good at doing this. So you also could use a can or a glass or a rolling pin if you okay. need to get it really thin. Or and like then an also. Elbow. Yeah, an elbow. An elbow. Yeah. Anything. It's, it's a little management. therapeutic. Right. And then look at this. If you had like seven of these in the freezer, it would take up so much space. Instead, we're going this. You can also do it for soups. Too. So this uh, is like a black is bean corn soup. Black bean soup corn with black cumin? bean soup. We can defrost it very shortly. Yeah, we're gonna. We'll, we'll let you through. take this home to finish. <laughs> okay, what's next? All right, another thing. One of the biggest ingredients that we always waste: yes. tomato, tomato paste. Tomato because you always. always need a tiny little bit. Yeah. So instead, put it in. Do the bag method. Uh -huh. And for this one, you would do more scores. So you. Probably do it like oh, into smart. little chunks like that. That way, all you do is break a piece off, uh -huh. use it, no food. I'm also do a there. scene from Grey's Anatomy oh, I love here. That. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's talk about soups. Okay. All right, I made this amazing chicken noodle soup for my family, but I have yes. some left. We're going to use super cubes. So basically, it's freezing uh -huh. your soup oh into individual gosh. portions. So this oh, is more like two people good. size. Look at how easy it is to just pop mm. out. All right, and you keep uh -huh. those in plastic bags right in the freezer. That's smart. Great. So smart, Very right? Nice. Really. Okay. Genius. All right, this is one of my favorites. So okay. if we were doing going to eat this, we would probably swap our gloves to different ones. Okay. okay? We're just doing this for TV. Okay. So now we're going to take bacon, mm -hmm. okay, and we're going to lay it on the parchment paper in vertical lines. You guys do it too. You have okay. your gloves. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to lay it in vertical lines. This prevents us from having to defrost an entire okay. pound of bacon. What if you just want one <sighs> slice? Smell. All right, bad. so what we do yes. is we lay the bacon, okay. and then you're going to roll it oh my like this. Roll okay. it up. Ooh. And then use your scissors. Oh, Cut it. Yeah. Sorry about that, Jen. No, it's Into all good. individual self-serve packets that you can oh. pull out and defrost just what you need. If you want a little bacon in your soup, that's a good one. So smart, right? Are these tips yeah. available for half off? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Let's smoothies. talk about smoothies. I okay. cut my smoothies for the week uh -huh. all at one, one fell swoop. Okay. All right. So you're going to put everything in. You can even put in your protein powder, your oats. Everything goes into the bag. This uh -huh. is great. The one tip I would That's use genius. is I portion it out in my smoothie cup so that I'm sure that when I pour it back in, it's just the right amount. Right. Keep it in your freezer. Right. Pop it back in. Then you just put in your liquids or your ice, whatever uh -huh. you need. Done. It's mm -hmm. so much easier than doing it every day. And freezing gets a bad wrap. Uh -huh. It is yeah. actually just as healthy. It also is going to preserve nutrients. So even though it looks a little crazy right now, it's still just as good Actually, for you. I think yeah. it looks quite nice. Yeah. All right. Pretty. Yeah. Now, okay. I have a big deep freezer in my basement. Bragging. And it's, I know, right? <laughs> Such a cool freezer. Um, tons freezer and tons flex. of meat. <laughs> tons of meat in there. But the problem is I never know what it is. Like, what's in there? I don't yeah, even remember. So you open it up, there. you search, and then you've changed the temp. Elk. <laughs> Ew. No, I don't want elk. That's gross. <laughs> we did have a whole elk. So in instead, dry erase marker, write what you have. Mm. We have lots of elk. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. So you're going to write everything that you have in there, how many pounds, the date you put it in, mm -hmm. and then you know exactly what you have in there. Yes. All Super right. simple, right? Yes. We're going to come back more dairy. freezer acts dairy. after this. Dairy-free <laughs> ice cream. Oh, well, you can freeze dairy and dairy-free ice cream. We'll be right cream. back with Monica. If you would like to know more about anything you see on live, log on to our website at kellyandryan.com.
Okay, Monica, back with uh, freezing food tips. Mm -hmm. I smell scallions. Yeah, we're gonna talk mm -hmm. about some foods that probably surprise you that you didn't know you could freeze, okay? Okay. Avocados, one of the first yes. things, it's ripe and then it's yeah. not ripe. As exactly. soon as it's ripe, toss it in the freezer whole, okay? okay? All you have to do to defrost Ooh, it, wow. put it under some warm water under the sink, couple seconds, and it's still green. peels off, <gasps> it's perfect not every mushy. time. Mind blown. Wow, that There should be no guacamole using. shortage right? for the Super Bowl. Right? That's smart. Okay, tomatoes, whole tomatoes, can be frozen. Uh -huh. If you grew them in your garden, pop them in the freezer. Works great. I wouldn't recommend slicing it for a sandwich, but soup, sauces, anything yeah. you're cooking, perfect. I was telling Jenny about my Genius. corn. You can do your corn. Your corn, well. yes. Yeah. So fresh corn, <laughs> cut it off the cob, put it in. Duh. One trick that I really love. So you can do a lot of herbs and spices. Uh -huh. Cutting up scallions, put them into an empty Parmesan cheese container. Okay. They freeze individually, and then you can just shake a little bit out if you're doing eggs or an omelet. They're just like a really oh, easy grab and go. So fresh. So and fresh. Delicious. And these get a little weepy mm. in the fridge, and they're never yeah. exact. Oh, look at you and your knife skills. I just figured I'd chop for so you. So good, so good. <laughs> Cheese, okay. milk, there's a lot of other things that we can freeze. We'll put uh -huh. all of them on the website, okay? okay? Wow. Bananas, Ryan, I know, I think you freeze bananas, right? I eat them like popsicles. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, wait, you freeze them and then just eat them cold? Mm -hmm. Nice. So a lot it's of actually, I trick myself into thinking it's ice cream. Ooh, oh, it's I like not that. ice no cream. Chocolate, no chocolate, not nothing? <laughs> nothing no, on top? No, just like that. All right, a okay. couple tips for this. You can slice them, and uh -huh. if you're going to, put them on some parchment paper, uh -huh. stick them in the freezer, let them kind of initially freeze, so that yeah. way when you put them in a bag, they're not going to stick to each other. So okay. you want to, like, oh, freeze, yeah. freeze them. You also, if you're going to do banana bread, peel them first. That's the thing. You don't want to have to deal with sludgy oh, bananas afterwards. Yes. So peel no. them first. Okay, this, I'm a mom of four kids. Uh -huh. This saved me during the peanut butter and jelly eating years. Making lunches. We would make all the sandwiches for two weeks at once. For okay? two weeks at once? Two weeks at once and then freeze them. Whoa. So here's the little hack though. Okay. It goes peanut butter on both sides, then jelly in the middle. And don't over jelly. If you see okay. that one, Ryan, too much jelly there. Should That's we, not going to work. Can we work. try? You can okay, absolutely so wait, try. Okay. You ever PB? Been with you? PB. Did you come on and do a segment on this thing? I did, but yeah. remember the blender didn't turn on. It was, no, no. It was well, nowhere near this standard. level of, yeah. of perfection. Okay, so and you could even do a taste test. One of those over there was frozen, and one of those was okay. not, and you would not be able to tell the difference. Right, right. right there to your left. Oh. One side frozen, one side not frozen. Uh -huh. No, of okay. the sandwich, you goof. Oh. <laughs> I'm just watching her. Oh, Ryan, oh, we don't put our peanut butter in the freezer. No, That's I can't one tell we aren't going to do. I've can't even tell both. the difference. I've touched All right. All right, well, she built so that. So that one's what else? great. While you do that, let's talk about ice cream. That's all you're getting. That's all cream. you're getting, Ryan. If you eat ice cream, once you scoop some out, you can end up with like the little crystals on it. Parchment paper is your free freezer's best friend. So you don't get that freezer A little burn. bit of oh. parchment paper, then your lid makes a world of a difference. It's going to taste much more fresh. Mm -hmm. Also, Jason will use this tip. Don't put it on the door because the door opens and closes, the temperature changes. That's what gets that crystalline to it. Put it oh. back further in your freezer. Okay. And have the best ice cream every time. All right. And this one, you will really appreciate. So right. you go away on vacation. Mm -hmm. How do you know you're, you didn't lose power and that your food's gone bad? What you should do is have a ceramic mug uh -huh. in your fridge, stick a coin on top of it. If when you come home, your coin is dropped down, it means you've lost power and your food has not been preserved and it isn't frozen. So that would oh, help no. your elk situation. Yeah, Jason will go crazy with that. <laughs> these, these, these are getting these a cups. lot of play today. These are getting a lot of play. But <laughs> clean this before the show tomorrow morning, yeah. you know. Um, Can Ryan up this one tomorrow <laughs> with the coins Kelly in it? and Ryan.com for all of these great tips. We'll be right back. Thank you, Monica. Of course. Thank you.